Welcome to Power Up. Your club or association may have asked you to register online for various programs. If you do not have an account yet, you can start by signing up. However, if you do have an account, log in with your username and password. Or if you have an account but you can't remember your password, you can use the password reset by entering your email address, clicking reset password, which will send you a link to reset your password. And then you'll be able to log in. However, if you're creating a new account for yourself as a volunteer or a coach or for your family to register players with the club or association, you start by entering your email address and your desired password to initiate the start of the account. When I click continue, the system is going to check to see if that email address already exists. If it does, the system will send you a password reset, encouraging you to use the profile that you already have online. When you log in and the system thinks you're new, you will be provided with helpful hints throughout the process in order to take you through the system. Your first step is to create your guardian profile. That's you as the parent. If you are playing or participating, meaning that you are volunteering for the club, your date of birth as the adult is going to be required in the system. If you are not playing or participating in the club and only registering your children, just click no and you will not need to provide a date of birth. Make sure that you subscribe to the club's emails uh, and that to receive important information about club events uh, and other announcements. As well, you can enter spouse or supplementary guardian information, which really should be used as an emergency contact. If you have another uh, adult in the family that requires access to the uh, player's schedules and other team events, they should create their own profile, which can be in turn connected to those players. Once I've created my guardian profile, I'm now ready to go in and add family members or my children to register in the club. So I click add a family member and I'm going to add two children to my account. Having added the two children through the quick add feature, you may have to provide additional information depending on your club's policies. If I go to profile, edit a player, I'm able to look at Billy's profile. I can add a player photo if the club has enabled that feature or, or I might have to upload an ID document or documents uh, in support of the uh, registration. Once I've completed my profile, if I was to log out and log back in, I am on the home page for the club's member zone, logged in. I can see the programs that are available for registration, as well as Club Hub, where there may be additional uh, information provided by the club. I'm now ready to register. By clicking register now, I'm taken to a five-step process to register the players. The system offers you the programs available for your family based on the information that you have entered and the programs that they have made, been made available. Billy is for under eight boys program and Susie for an under 14 girls program. And you can see there are limited spaces remaining. Also, I'm gonna play in a men's uh, recreational league. I add those items to the basket. At the basket level, I'm reminded that you have not completed your registration until you've completed step five, the payment process. I may see additional items placed in my basket based on club policies. I will see a review of the items I have uh, put in my basket, and I may be asked to volunteer for one of my children's teams. So I'm gonna say, yes, I wanna volunteer for Billy, which is gonna put the volunteer application in front of me through the checkout process. You may be uh, offered discounts, again, depending on your club policy, and I may have been given a promo code to provide a discount to my registration. I would enter it here and update basket. I'm ready to check out and I go to the next step, which is called additional information. These are waivers, sign off on other policies that are required by the club to complete your registration. They may ask you questions like, where did you hear about us? Jersey size, and there will be a variety of legal waivers that you will have to sign off on. Your club may also uh, offer a uh, special request box uh, used for various purposes that may include player requests.
I submit having done the first one and I'm being offered which volunteer application form I want. So I want team official. I want to volunteer as a coach. It's going to fill in my information automatically. I want to apply for a coach. I do want to coach my son's team and I can provide any other notes or answer any other questions that the club may require. I click continue and now I'm being asked to complete the same questionnaire for Susie's registration. She too likes apples. And now I'm being asked on step four for how I'm going to pay. Payment methods vary uh, and are at the determination of the club. We're going to register with offline payment. Click continue. I will be given a summary of my purchase the due date based on club policies, and four last payment page waivers that you may have to sign off on. One might include proof of date of birth with instructions for Ontario Club's Rowan's Law concussion policy, club communications, and email opt-in per the Castle anti-spam legislation. Again, we encourage you to opt in to emails from the club in order to receive important notices. When I click submit, my registration is done. It may take a moment or two for the system to process, uh, whether you are registering for offline payment or you are registering with a credit card. I will be given a link to my confirmation, which will provide me all the details available. Having completed my registration, you should have received two emails. If you have created a new profile, you will receive an email from the club acknowledging the profile created with the email address that you've used. As well, I will receive a receipt from the club. However, those receipts are permanently available in your profile by go once you've logged in, going to Payments and Receipts, and I will see the details of the outstanding payments that are available once you're account is paid in full, that will turn into a receipt. Having completed your registration, the club will then carry on to roster your child to a team and may publish schedules. You return to Power Up by logging in and checking on the player widget on the right hand side on the home page when you have logged in. When the season is ready to begin, your club will have rostered your players to teams, completed scheduling, and then will announce the release of that information uh, to its members. Logging back into the Power Up Member Zone can provide details on the player's registration, team information, their events, attendance, if so activated by, uh, by the club, and other information. I can click on the team link to see further information for attendance, tracking, rosters if they're being shared, schedules for the team, standings if applicable, and game results. As well, you can get all this information and more by downloading and logging in to the PowerUp app, the link available if the club is using PowerUp Connect under the support section of the main menu, click on mobile apps and download the app.